Consider this as an apology for the back. At that time, I had no idea what secret connected my fiancé and this thief, or how they would fight for my heart. My name is Eva, and this is my love story. Sorry, uh, the finest champagne for my girlfriend, please. Please, shh. Let him see that he's not the only one enjoying life, okay? Thanks. To you. In a flash, my fiancé was rushing to our table. However, it turned out that it was not for me. Well, 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 Tommy Johnson. What the hell are you doing here, huh? Zach, after those years, I wouldn't think you recognize me. I see you out of prison. I hope you had a great time there. You know each other? Eve? What the hell are you doing with this criminal, huh? It's not of your business. Well, actually it is. She's my fiance. Not anymore. Uh, she's gonna marry me. What? You cannot marry this guy. He's a criminal. <laughs> and you're a cheater. <laughs> Well, she prefers to put up with my cheating rather than being with a scumbag who just came out of prison. Come on, Eve, we're leaving. No, I don't want to go with you. What? Yes, I'll marry you. What? Are, are, you, are you out of your mind? You know what? I don't even care. Have fun, you two. What am I gonna do now? We're gonna celebrate! You're happy now. It's because you finally got back at the cop for us, did you? Right? You know nothing. Well, I know that you both used me. Don't forget your back. I didn't realize until I was in the middle of the street that no one needed me and I had nowhere to go. Lost? What do you need? This is bag and wallet. Taking time in one day. Just go to hell. I just came from there. Bobby Ray, you're in the wrong neighborhood. Shall I call your father? Hell. Yours? Imagine. Then what the hell is she doing around here alone? <laughs> With no money? Seriously? What a waste of time. Do you have a place to spend the night? I was going to answer that question from a man who knows every robber in the area. You don't have to. Let's go. Where? You can stay at my place. Are you out of your mind? You stole my bag, you made me break up with my fiance. I'm not going anywhere with you. So we won't go. Anywhere. 
Why? You have a home. And you have a bag that everybody wants to steal. God, I couldn't feel my legs anymore. And he was just standing there, like everything was fine. Why? Come on. I'm about to gonna get warm and make you a tea that I stole from an Indian. You're an idiot. <laughs> Maybe, but I seem to be the only one who cares about you now. When I get warm, I'm going straight back. Okay. Don't forget your bag. In the blink of an eye, he carefully wrapped me in a blanket, gave me warm socks, and treated me to the most delicious mulled wine in the world. I don't remember what we were talking about, but it was so warm and relaxing. I don't even remember falling asleep. But suddenly I remembered where I was and who I was with. Good morning, Sleeping Beauty. Oh my God. What? A cockroach? You have cockroaches here? No. <laughs> Why did you jump up like that? Um, did we... No. You slept all night. <sighs> Nothing happened. Don't worry. Um... I should probably go. Wait, chill out. Where do you want to go? I'm going to make you the best breakfast in your life. Oh, you can cook? I think all I can do is steal. <laughs> I suddenly noticed that Tom didn't look like a criminal at all. His eyes and smile revealed a good soul. His home didn't at all resemble the lair of a dangerous thief. Enjoy. Yes. So strange. What? Not good? No, no. It's just that your life looks like a normal person's life. Like, you know, like family and friends and books. <laughs> and then, like, like, still somehow you became a thief? Uh, you know, stuff happens. <sighs> but enough about that. You say that as if you had to become a criminal. You really think that I choose to go to the prison at the age of 17? Mm, people don't just go to prison just like that. You think so? What do you know about that? I would really like to have a normal education, a good job, a chance to take a pretty girl to a fancy restaurant, a girl who wouldn't think of me as a thief. Um, listen, I, I, I just meant that, you know, we're, we're both adults and we get to choose ourselves what we want to do with our lives. So you also choose uh, for your fiancé to cheat on you? No, wait, wait. I got nothing else to say. I just meant that... Even if bad stuff happened to you in the past, it doesn't have to predict your future. You can, you can still, if you want, you can invite a beautiful, intelligent girl to dinner. Just, just do it. I had only known Tom for a day, but for some reason, I was so nervous, I couldn't sit still. Mostly, I couldn't wait for him to come home. Um, I'm sorry. I... How did you find me? I'm a cop. Did you forget? Get your things. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you. Come on, if he's a criminal, he's just using you to get a revenge on me. That's not true. It is the true. I'm the reason he ended up in jail. What? Yeah, I was new in force and I was 
working on a promotion I need to win. I frame him with all this money and he ended up in jail. <sighs> Why? Why would you do that? You ruined his life! Who cares? There are some things that I'm not proud of, but... What I do care about is you know, in my life again. Come on. I really want you back. <sighs> you should not have told me that. What? What? Serious? You're gonna choose this loser over me? Are you serious? <sighs> You're the loser. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm sorry for what I said, and I just wanted to say that Zach doesn't deserve you, and I know that the criminal would never end up with the girl like you either. Uh... Tom, uh, I know that you're not guilty. What? And I'll make sure that everybody knows about it. <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, because... It turns out that uh, I really like you. <laughs> At that moment, I realized that the most important thing is to listen to your heart. After all, it'll always tell you where your true love is and who you can trust. <laughs>